Hey guys, welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. So we are on the second day uh, at Oshkosh, at least second day for us. And today we are searching for the Draco. This is the monster stole airplane built by Mike Patey. Well, this airplane, you guys requested that I check it out. And my only mission today is to find this super stall airplane. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to look for Mike Patey's Red Draco. So right now, though, in finding Mike's uh, airplane, we have to go all the way down to the ultralight section. At least that's where I've heard that they're parked. So we're heading to the, to the ultralight section or possibly the home built. Uh, hopefully, we'll find him there. Again, the goal is to find Mike with the airplane so we can talk to Mike himself and he can tell us. Have you guys seen the Draco? Do you know what plane yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah. They walk all the way up around to the other planes. Yeah. The strip, uh huh. It's right, you'll see it the big red airplane right close to the end. Yay, we're, we've been red. looking for it. Very exciting. Yeah. Yes. I was now like, I see some red, red around, and you'll see it. It's awesome. on the it's on the right over there or on the left? It's on, on the, the left hand side. On the left hand side. If you follow that road, yep. you see the strip. You, when you come yep. along the strip, you'll see it where it ends. They're right on to the left. Thank of you. I know we should have went the opposite way that we went before. Okay, y'all. We found Draco, and as you can see, it's already attracting quite a few crowd. Now, if we can only find Mike, which I doubt he is here, you can't even get into this airplane without probably needing stairs or something. But here's the monster called Draco. Look at the tires alone. This is give you an idea these are like bus tires bus wheels right here okay hold on hold on and what makes this airplane special is that it's using a turbo prop okay this thing is a monster man just <laughs> wow it's, it's, I'm speechless, man. This may be one of the biggest tailwheel aircraft I've ever seen in my life, if not the biggest. Look at those, the actual tailwheel. You thought you've seen a Bush airplane before? This thing is a monster. Okay. Well, Mike is not here, unfortunately. But we found the Draco, which is what we're looking for the whole time. Again, just to show you how big the wheels are, look at it in reference to the tires. If I stand next to it, which I'll show you in a minute, see how it is. I mean, probably cannot see the ground <laughs> except you look down from this thing just amazing amazing great workmanship just crazy this thing is is a beast yeah look at on See the turbo prop? No. Let's see what we got here. Six hundred and eighty horsepower. See? Has a PT six six eighty horsepower. 
this thing is a monster, okay? Uh, we couldn't find Mike, he's probably preoccupied uh, with something else, so I was hoping we could find him and talk to him about the build and just the airplane in general, but this is the largest, largest tail wheel airplane you probably find anywhere. And just to show you, actually, just to show you how big it is, again, when I stand next to unique is the fact that it's using a Pratt Whitney okay the standard version uses a piston engine and Mike thought that's not enough <laughs> so he stuck a monster uh, 680 horsepower engine in there I have no idea on the performance of the aircraft but I'm pretty sure it gets a lot of quick get up and go now that is a sexy plane I would have that plane's babies <laughs> It's really cool. I've seen nothing like it. I'm not an airplane expert or whatever. A lot of this bores the ever-loving poo-poo out of me, but that is a really cool looking airplane. And it's really rewarding that we chased it down and we were able to find it with a little bit of help from our friends. Yep. So, awesome. Shut up. Shutting up is wrong.